success of this film is kind of a, a testament to um, just being diligent and believing in what it is that you do and knowing somehow that there is a place for what it is that you have done and never giving up. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit of your time and give Winston Churchill's graduating speech to Oxford University. Okay, and this is the speech in its entirety. Never quit. Never, never, never quit. And there you have it, folks. After jamming out to kick-ass music for the past two days, now it is our turn to play our Symphony of Destruction. Welcome to the final day of the Hellfire Festival. Tonight, the winners of the 2019 Laborian Sprint will be getting their title shots here as the Clone Master Dracona Tour will be going one-on-one -on -one with our undefeated champion. Will the Clone Master be the one to finally dethrone the champion? We will find out in our main event. That is not all. For the Violet's side, the one and only Haley Jones will be getting her rematch for the battle as she goes one on one with Tiffany Lee Ray in a Hoopla Rules match. But to kick off our entire show, it is for Hell's Highest Honor. Taryn Campbell, Evelyn Gregory, CJ Snow, and Lilith Rossi will be in a four way survival match for that briefcase. Who will win it? We will find out up next. just wasn't enough to beat Haley Jones. Tonight though, she has another shot, a guaranteed shot that is in Hell's Highest Honor. A briefcase that which upon cashing in, grants her a title opportunity at any point in time, whether the champion is ready or not. She has another shot here, and you can bet your ass she's not gonna waste it. Campbell 
came into the HQ with a bang when she attacked the current champion back at Black Summer. But since then it's been a rough ride as she has lost every single time she's been in a match. But tonight that can all change and she might finally get her shot at the world title. are part of the militia. I wonder if they will team up in this match. The CJ Snow and Evelyn Gregory have a shot here to eliminate the other two so that it is guaranteed that a member of the militia wins this match. briefcase but only one of them is going to be the lucky one and we will find out who that lucky one is up next We go four-way survival match underway. Taryn Campbell going after Evelyn Gregory as Lilith Rossi goes after Snow. CJ going Rossi. Outside the ring, CJ and Lilith are. While in the ring, Taryn Campbell goes after Evelyn Gregory. I'm throwing at the ropes. Misses. Oh, and a clothesline from Taryn. The jawbreaker. Oh, it misses the boot. Versus again. Oh, but outside the ring, Lilith Rossi with the power bomb. Evelyn Gregory has the upper hand over Terran. CJ dragging Lilith Rossi at the moment. Oh, it hits her with the back fist. Oh, and a drop kick from CJ. Back in the ring, Evelyn getting reversed by Terry Campbell. A whole woman back in the ring now. Oh, what a punch from CJ. No, oh, and a forearm. CJ turns her attention. Oh, a Pele kick from Evelyn. Turns her attention to her fellow teammate. Oh, my God, what a brain buster. 
Oh, and a zigzag from Terran. Rebel going after anything that moves. Fucking hell. Rossi beating the hell out of Evelyn. Trading shots. Oh, and a drop kick from Terran. Rossi's still laying in shots. He is not done here. Throwing Evelyn back in the ring. CJ throwing Terran back in the ring now. You guys are up. Oh, what a power slam. She's not done. He's teeing off on Evelyn. Oh, and a drop kick from CJ. She continues to assault Evelyn. CJ Snow at the moment. Just watching it. Oh my god, and Rossi hits her from behind. Wants Evelyn to herself. Oh, what a stomp to the gut. Oh, Terran. Oh, and a running knee from Terran Campbell. Not really running there, though. Oh, stun gun. Link to eliminate Rossi. Only a one count. go. Taryn throwing her out of the ring. Well, Snow and Evelyn are still in. Evelyn reversing. Oh, but CJ stops her. Oh, she has her up. No, oh, and drops her on her knee. Oh, scratches for the eyes. Oh, what an exploder. Evelyn Gregory. Oh my god, a bloody Sunday on the outside as Evelyn Gregory's making a comeback. Oh, she's got CJ. She's got her in a triangle hold. Will she get her here? Oh, and she does. The one and only, excuse me, the chosen one has been eliminated. We're down to three now. Evelyn Gregory, Taryn Campbell, and Lilith Rossi. Evelyn turns her attention to the real shooter. Drops her on the apron. Oh, she's looking, oh, she was looking to take her out there. Taryn stops her. Turns her attention to Rossi now. Only for a moment. Oh man, she's got her. She's got her in a dragon sleeper on the outside. It's not gonna mean much though. She gets out of it anyways. Oh my god, what a headshot from Evelyn. She's not done here. And a, another brain buster on the outside. It is all Evelyn here. Oh, and as I say that, Rossi reverses. Has her up into a bloody Sunday on the outside. Oh, she hits a diamond cutter. Taryn Campbell back in the ring, as well as Evelyn Gregory. Oh. Oh, what a manhandle slam. She's looking for something. Oh, she's going for the pin. Feet on the ropes. Two. Oh, so close. Evelyn almost had her there. Trying to pick up the Rebel. Just not working out for her. Oh! Four from Rossi, another one. And a sling blade. Oh, and she drop kicks Evelyn Gregory, taking her out. Rossi and Terra now in the ring. Has her up for a reverse bloody Sunday. 
Not done here. Oh, but she eats it. Close line. You know, Dr. Teeth, fucking hell. Taryn Campbell now has the upper hand here. Just with the forearm. An atomic drop. Slams her down. Taryn Campbell now has the upper hand. As Evelyn Gregory. Oh my god, what a roundhouse. Oh, she's not done. Oh, and an insiguri from Evelyn Gregory. The Rebel, Rebel stops her. Oh, and a forearm from Gregory. Marazzi has her up. Oh, a detonation kick. Oh, but she eats a headshot. One, two. Oh, there's only a two count. Rossi almost got a second elimination there. So this might have been a repeat from the Mexico takeover. But Rossi has her now. She, oh, oh, I was looking for that bloody Sunday. Get reversed. Darren Campbell looking to eliminate her. Oh, two count. Not worried though, she goes right back on assault. Oh my god. She plants her face down. Picking her back up. Oh my god, and runs her face into her knee. And she's a jawbreaker. Oh, I missed the clothesline. Evelyn going on assault on her now. Oh, but Taryn, spinning her around. She is dizzy. She is not done here. Taking her back, oh, Evelyn. Oh, what a belly to back. Turns her attention to Rossi. This is the kick. It's a belly to back of her own. Rossi once again going on assault on her. And at her arm. One of these three women will be getting that briefcase in a guaranteed title opportunity at whatever time they want. And it could be Rossi if she manages to eliminate Evelyn and Taryn and vice versa for all of them. There's a clusterfuck here. Everybody looking to put a shot in. Rossi reversing her. Oh! Whatever the fuck was gonna happen there. It stopped. Oh! Oh, it drives her face into her knee. Got a drop kick from Rossi. Oh, Taryn pushes Rossi. Not done picking her back up. Oh, and a roundhouse from Taryn. Looking to eliminate her. And she does. We're down to two. Evelyn Gregory and Taryn Campbell. One of these two will earn the right to have the hell's highest on her briefcase. Both men fighting on the outside, coming back in the ring. Oh, misses the forearm. Oh, holds her up. Oh, and another kick from Evelyn. Looking to get her here for the win. Oh, so close. I've been almost had her there. Going after her arm now. God damn. Oh, it stomps at her arm. There you go. Oh, the headshot connects. Evelyn might win it here. One, two. Oh! Rossi going back on assault, climbing to the top rope. 
Looking for something big here. Oh, she's calling for her to get up. Oh, man. Oh, and a drop kick from Evelyn. Picking her back up, looking for another shot. Oh, dragging her. Putting her on the ropes. Oh, she gets reversed. Karen Campbell going for her. One of these women might have it here. Evelyn throwing her at the corner. Teeing off on her. Oh, but Tara reverses. Oh, she's got her in a tree of woe. Looking for something here. Oh, man. Going from east to west. Coast to coast. Here goes Taryn. Coast to coast connects. Both women are down. But can Taryn Campbell get the win here? Looking for the cover. One, two. Oh, and Evelyn Gregory kicks out. She go, continues to go on assault. Oh, drops the leg. Looking for the win again. One, two. Oh! Terry Cavill once again going on assault into the octopus stretch. Looking to a submitter here. And she does. Terry Campbell gets the win. Here is your winner. Taryn Campbell is the first member of the Violet Division to ever receive Hell's Highest Honor. And now she has a title opportunity at whatever time she chooses. And that time could be tonight, but we will see later on in our Chrome Man event. Congratulations to the Rebel for this big win. Coming up next, we got a big debut as the Platinum Standard after one month of attacking Haley Jones, now have official match here tonight against Beverly Hunter and Riley Wolf. It is the debut of the Platinum Standard up next. the same. She is looking to dominate this division just like she was back at Nuclear Winter. But tonight she has another opportunity to shut down the debut of the Platinum Standard with the help of Riley Wolf. Can they do it? We will find out up next. Their opponents from the Smack 
Platinum Standard have had many members in the past, but the original two were the most dangerous, Crystal and Christina Platinum. Both women specialize in tag team competition and have been dominating that circuit since 2013. Tonight they are in their element as they go two on two with the Cyber Dream and the Our Lady of Blood Champion. Tonight we will see if that experience factor comes into play in getting them this win. Well, a bit of a disagreement as to who's going to start this match. But it looks like it's going to be Crystal Platinum and Riley Wolf. There you go, tag team contest underway. The Platinum Standard versus Riley and Beverly. Oh, but it's straight out of the gate. Riley with the half and half. Crystal missing the shot. Both women missing there. Oh, she catches her with that slap. Oh, reversing her to a car on elbow. Riley Wolf getting the upper hand here. Drops her down. Wrenching her neck. Oh, and punches her in the face. Breaking it up. Oh, the Crystal going after her legs. Crystal slowly getting the upper hand here. Oh! Oh, what a knee to the gut. <laughs> Fucking hell, just kicking her face in. Now I'm done with her throwing her at her corner. Oh no! Oh, just sweeps her legs. Finally throwing her at her corner. Beverly tagging herself in. Oh, but Crystal! Fucking bad choice from Beverly there. Oh, but she is not discriminating as who she is attacking. And she's still going after Riley Wolf. Throwing her back in the ring. Oh, now she's kicking Riley. Riley, Beverly. Oh my God. Just attacking both women here. It is all Crystal Platinum now. Oh, what a DDT from Crystal. Not done here, throwing her out of her corner. Oh, she gets reversed. Answers back there. Oh my god, Beverly Hunter. Looking to make a slow comeback here. Oh, she's got her in Gargano escape. But Christina stops it. Climbing to the middle rope. Oh my god, what a cross body to her back. Taking one for the team there. Crystal not getting back up. I'm gonna pick up where a partner left. Oh my god. Pick up where a partner left off. Oh, and a forearm to the back of Beverly Hunter. Once again, just kicking her face in and going after both women. DDT from Crystal Platinum. Oh, and a super kick from Crystal. Oh, but she's not done. Don't forget the rubs. Oh! Oh, another super kick from Crystal. She's known as the super kick Messiah for a reason. She's now tagging Christina. Oh. Oh, what a splash. Oh. Oh, and a hip attack in their corner. Christina Platinum, first time in action here. What a knee. Oh, but Beverly fighting back here. Oh, she eats a chop. Oh, Beverly. Oh, only on one count. Oh, she's not done. Rolling her up again. One. Oh, one again. Beverly Hunter looking at it quickly. 
She's not looking to make a tag. Oh my god, a belly to back. Oh my god, what a big boot from Christina. Oh, backhand. Oh, she answers back. Oh, and an uppercut from Christina. Oh, she drop kicks Riley Wolf. Oh, but that distracts her. They're isolating Beverly here. Making sure she never gets a tag in this match. Oh. Oh. Oh, and a super kick. Into the pedigree. Oh, the pedigree, pedigree connects. Crystal, looking to win here. Gets out of it for some reason. The ref. Now making a fucking pin. She could have had it there had the ref been smart. Oh, she continues the assault on Beverly. Had the ref gone for the pin, she would have won it here. Oh, Beverly fighting back here. He kicks it. Oh my god, another super kick from Crystal. It has all been the platinum standard here. With a few attacks from Beverly Hunter. Oh, but she misses the knees. Throwing out her corner again. Oh, man. Oh, my God. What an assault from the Platinum Standard. Jesus Christ. Oh, she answers a chop again. Oh, my God. It needs a clothesline. Another running knee. The Platinum Standard are dominant here. Oh. Ah, oh, step up boot from Christ Christina, excuse me. Going into her corner now. Oh my god, Beverly. Big to there, throwing her at her corner. Once again, trying to go for that back elbow. Throwing into her corner again. Oh man. Oh, another super kick. It's your Christina Platinum. With the pedigree connects. The Platinum Standard. Isolating Beverly Hunter. Into the cover. And for the win, the Platinum Standard look dominant here. Here are your winners, the Platinum Standard. An explosive debut from the Platinum Standard. And everybody in that locker room has just been put on notice that the dangerous duo of Crystal and Christina Platinum are now here in the Hoopla HQ. Congratulations to the Platinum Standard for this huge debut. Ah, but the losers of this match. Both are angry about this decision. Well, it seems Beverly has severed ties with Riley Wolf. But coming up next is the men's side of things as five of the losers from the Laborian Sprint will be squaring off in a ladder match for Hell's Highest Honor. That match is up next, ladies and gentlemen, and it is gonna be a clusterfuck.
the following TLC match is for Hell's highest daughter. Making his way to the ring first. Representing the new generation and fighting out of Baltimore, Maryland. He is the XWS World Heavyweight Champion, John P. John P. has a lot on his plate. Being the current XWS World Champion, but his sole focus here tonight is Hell's Highest Honor. He's looking to win the briefcase, cash in on the World Champion, and finally be the first person to dethrone him and hold both belts for both promotions. That's the dream, and tonight he's looking to make that the reality. Son, he is the Mad King, Alexander Malfrex. So apparently, Alexander Malfrex is the leader of a faction known as the Rising Sun. Now we here at the Hoop HQ do not know who the fuck's a part of it, but I have a bad feeling that we will be finding that out in the coming months. to avenge his embarrassing loss back at the sprint when he lost in second to Draconator's Giant. Tonight he's looking to win the briefcase and possibly dethrone the champion who might be Draconator here tonight.
Columbia, Ohio, the man with the Chewy Center, Brett Clarence. Here we go, five-way ladder match for Hell's Highest Honor, hanging high above the ring. John P. rolling out of the ring, possibly looking for a ladder. Oh, but Malfrex looking to attack him. There he goes. Cesar Moin going after Grant Clarence as Joseph is just hanging back. Oh my God, John just hitting Alex on the apron. It is gonna be a fucking clusterfuck here. Alfrex throwing him in the ring. Possibly looking to end this match quickly. Oh! Oh, hitting John with the ladder. Oh, setting it up. Looking to grab it quickly. Oh, it could be Malfrex. Looking to end it early. Nobody going to stop him. Oh, but John P is. Oh, forearm. Throws John, throws Alex off of it. Oh. Oh, now he's hanging. Joey, Joe, Joe. Oh my God. Joseph. How he's still standing after that is beyond me. John P. leaving the ring. Going for a chair as well. Both men letting go of it. Malfrix getting stopped by Cesar. Oh! Oh my god! Oh! He fucking throws him. Grant Clarence. Just threw Joe's. Oh my fucking hell. So much is happening at once, it's crazy. John P attacking Cesar Mormon while Malfrex is grabbing that chair, trying to use it. Oh, it hit Cesar over the head. Cesar Mormon not getting a break here. Oh my god. Grant Clarence picking him up. Oh my god. What a bitch. Oh. John P rolling out of it. Oh, into a clothesline. Cesar Mormon not getting a break at all. Looking to try to make a comeback here. Oh! Oh, throws John at the chair. Now looking to grab that briefcase. After all the shit that he just got put through. Cesar Mormon and looks to avenge it here. Oh, nobody's coming after him. John P slowly getting back up. John P fighting off him. Oh. Oh, get reversed. Alexander Malfrex. Oh. Oh, it's too heavy for him. Both men still fighting on the ladder. Oh, and he throws John off. Grant Clarence looking to stop him, though. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. A power bomb off the ladder. Oh, but Joseph climbing up. Oh, and he gets dropped off. Grant Clarence looking like a powerhouse here. Going after Alexander Malfrex. Has him up. Looking for the golden pouch, gets stopped by Cesar. Oh, he's just hitting everybody. 
Tessa Mormon, now the only one standing. And John back up. Tessa Mormon. Oh, misses the chair there. He's thrown out of the ring. Grant Clarence throwing him out of the ring now. Well, Joseph looking to pull a fast one there. Once again, going for it. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, the power bomb from Brent. Oh, misses the ladder. Oh, it hits Cesar with it. Not done here. Throwing it for some reason. John P. just punishing Cesar Moin here. Oh. Oh, and a powerball from Malfrex. Now turns his attention to Grant. Grant reverses. Throws him out of the ring. Another chair comes into play. John P. <laughs> could not use it. It is all Grant now. Oh, Malfrex. Grant Clarence has the briefcase now. Alexander Malfrex and Joseph trying to stop him. What the fuck just happened? Here is your winner. What the actual fuck? Clarence. <laughs> what the hell just happened? Well, apparently Grant Clarence has won the briefcase. I, I, that is correct. He just fucking levitated to grab the briefcase. He is now the holder of Hell's Highest Honor. And we will take a quick break here. What the... Right, the Hoopla HQ returns to New Orleans for its special in November. And we have our first confirmed matchup here. After attacking him for the past month, Alexander Malfrex will be going one on one with Aragon Carlos. These two have been butting heads for the past month, and it finally comes to a head in the rising sun. But tonight, Aragon Carlos turns his attention to the pain maker. As he goes one on one with Chris Jericho. It is Chris Jericho versus Aragon Carlos up next.
It was an uphill battle for Aragon Carlos at the sprint. As in the finals, he went one-on-one -on -one with Draconator's giant. As, and just as he was coming back in that match, Alexander Malfrex attacked him from behind and cost him the win. But tonight he goes one-on-one -on -one with the pain maker Chris Jericho. And what I bet is going to be a classic contest. John P back at the Laborian Sprint as his mystery opponent. Tonight he's agreed to one more contest. One with one of Hoopla's finest in Aragon Carlos. And like I said before, fasten your fucking seatbelts because this is going to be a classic. Here we go, Aragon Carlos versus Chris Jericho in a match of the ages. And we're off. Aragon straight out of the gate with the Tiger suplex into a cover. Looking to end the match early. Oh, misses the Insiguri. Hope he reverses that punch. Back and forth from Jericho and Aragon. Oh, Aragon. Oh, what a neck breaker. Throws him at the corner. Oh, hits him with the knees. Not done. Oh, Jericho reversing. Oh, he gets reversed. Oh, and a leg drop from Aragon. Not even a one count. Chris Jericho still in it. The experience factor has to come into play eventually for Chris Jericho. Oh, I'm missing the chop. Aragon throwing him in the corner. Oh, another knee. Not done. Oh, a dragon suplex. Not done with him, just assaulting the pain maker here. Oh, oh, what a DDT from Aragon. Jericho reversing. Once again, Aragon getting the upper hand here. Oh, spoke too soon there. Jericho into a cover. No, oh, not even close there. Oh! Oh, what a bulldog from Jericho! Oh, man. Oh, just punches him in the face. Once again, not even one for Aragon. Oh, just stomping on Jericho's arm. Probably weakening it, weakening it for the Judas effect. Goes another corner. Not done with him. Oh, but Jericho reversing. Running into the corner. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, what 
what a drop kick from Jericho. The pain maker showing his experience there. I'm missing a shot there. Aragon throwing it back in the ring. Went down with him. Once again throwing him in the corner. Misses the clothesline. Oh, but he eats a bicycle knee. Aragon Carlos looking to eliminate him here. One, two. Ah. Uh, Aragon getting frustrated. Once again, going after his arm. Jesus Christ. Oh, this is the forearm. Jericho. Oh, what a neck breaker. Come on, baby! Jericho fired up here. Shoulder tackle. Another one. Of Aragon. Throwing him over the ropes. Probably should, shouldn't turn around here. Oh, Jericho, axe handle from Chris Jericho. He is fired up now. Picking Aragon back up. Oh, into a code breaker. Oh, but Beverly distracting him. Aragon Carlos taking advantage. Oh, retro shock DDT into a cover. Oh, so close for Aragon. Beverly Hunter gave him a major assist there. Oh, Aragon. Oh, another forearm. And a sling blade connects. Oh, but he's not done. Looking for that knee. Another knee. Oh, misses the knee there. He's not done. Throwing Jericho at the corner again. Double knees to the back. Oh, Judas Effect connects. Into the cover. One, two. Oh, so close. Chris Jericho almost had the win there. Oh, but he has to. Just to get, continue the assault. Ah, oh, misses the punch. Oh, but Aragon misses the forearm there. It is all Jericho now. Ah, oh, just hitting him with that knee. Aragon answers back with the forearm again. <laughs> Just kicking his head in. Oh, Aragon Carlos. Looking for that knee again. Missed it the first time. Oh, misses it again. Jericho. Oh, another Judas effect. Going for the pin here. Once again, Beverly distracting the referee. Oh, Jericho. Oh, what a jawbreaker into a forearm from Aragon. Beverly Hunter has been a major assist for Aragon in this match. Every single time. Aragon going after Jericho now. Oh, back elbow. Not done. Oh, my God. Oh, what a tiger suplex on the outside. Three. How Jericho is still standing after that's beyond me. But he is looking to throw Aragon back in the ring. Or not. Never mind. Five. Six. Beverly getting in front of Jericho. Trying to stall him. Failed there though. Throws him back in the ring. Chris Jericho needs to focus on ending this match. Misses the Inseguri. In that corner. Misses the knee again. 
Oh. Oh my god, what a backbreaker. Now wrenching his neck. Oh, but Aragon throws him off. Oh. Oh, what a back DDT from Aragon. Slowly swing to Aragon's favor. Probably has been since Beverly distracted him. Oh, Jericho. Oh, but gets reversed. Aragon. Oh, clothesline. Oh, barely hits that bullet elbow. Both men are hurt badly. Yet both are still in this matchup. Aragon just clawing at his eyes. The San Antonio crowd does not like Aragon here. It's a forearm. Oh, and a bulldog from Jericho. Jericho throwing him in the corner. And this is the clothesline again. Oh, and Aragon. Another future shot DDT. Into a cover. One. Two. Ah, oh, so close. Both men have hit their finishers, but neither one is backing down here. Jericho, shoulder tackle, answering back. Oh, finally hits that corkscrew forearm. Climbing to the top rope. Oh, calling for him to get up. He's got something planned here. Here he goes. Oh, what a neck breaker from Aragon. Once again, continuing the assault on his face. Just kicking it in again. Bring him in the corner. Looking for another knee. Misses again. Got to stop going for that move. Jericho picking him up for that power bomb. Going after his reinforced knee there. Into a cover. Oh, so close. No matter how tired both of these men are, they both just keep reversing each other. Jer Aragon once again going for his arm. He is definitely looking to break his arm here. He's climbing to the top. Looking for something big. Oh, that elbow connects. If he went for the cover there, he might have had it. But he continues his assault on Jericho. Oh. Jericho reversing. Oh. Oh, what a neck breaker from Jericho. Ah, oh, but Beverly once again distracting Chris Jericho. Aragon Carlos. Oh my god, from behind. Down for long. Oh, spoke too soon. Jericho once again reversing Aragon there. It's not done. Oh my god. Back and forth this entire matchup from these two. Oh, but Aragon. Oh. Oh my god, what a fucking knees from Aragon. Once again, looking for that leg drop. Connects there. Once again, third time the try arm here. Here he goes. Oh, it finally connects here. Possibly for the last time. One, 
two. Oh! And Jericho kicks out. Aragon pissed off here. What the fuck do either one of these men have to do to win here? Oh, what a close line from Jericho. Beverly once again distracting the referee as Jericho goes for the cover. The ref was not there to see it. But Jericho continues to assault Aragon. Oh. Oh, what a northern lights. Beverly Hunter once again distracting Jericho. The ref could just as easily just throw her out and be done with this. Oh my god. Jericho should not have taunted in front of his face. And now Aragon's taunting him now. Regardless, these two men are just fucking duking it out here. He's hitting forearms after forearms. Jericho, Northern Lights suplex into a cover. And once again, Beverly distracting the referee. Chris Jericho just staring down Beverly. Oh, now he's looking. Looking to end it here. Judas Effect connects again. He's looking to finally end it now. Into the cover. Oh, but Beverly climbing the top, trying to get the ref's attention. She is fucking... Thank fucking Christ. Beverly Hunter's getting thrown out now. Aragon's now all alone in the matchup. We are finally into official one-on-one -on -one contest. Aragon Carlos looking to end it here. Future shot. Oh, no! Chris Jericho reversing the future shot. Not done. Oh, the running knee from Jericho. Picking him back up. Throwing him at the ropes. Into a Judas effect. Chris Jericho looking for the win here. No Beverly Hunter in sight. And he fucking wins it. Chris Jericho finally gets a win here. Here is your winner, Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho overcame the numbers game in Beverly Hunter and Ariane Carlos. And tonight he gets his first official win in the Hoopla HQ. Congratulations to Jericho. Oh, what, what the fuck? What the fuck? Alexander Malfrex assaulting Aragon Carlos on the outside. Looking to add insult to injury here. Getting any advantage possible before their match in November. Oh my god. Oh shit, what does he fucking have planned? Oh! Oh my god! Alexander Malfrex continuing to beat the hell out of Aragon. He's fucking done for, man! Ah, oh, just throwing him at the barricade. Alexander Malfrex firing the first shot in this battle. Oh, he has him up. Oh, bloody Sunday. Alexander Malfrex just made his fucking presence known here. Oh, shit. Oh, he's not done. Oh, my God, another neck breaker. And putting the nail in the fucking coffin. Going for a King's Landing. Alexander Malfrex just fired the first shot 
in this fucking war. But coming up next is our first championship contest. The one and only Haley Jones gets her rematch against the living dead girl Tiffany Lee Ray. It is Haley Jones versus Lee Ray for the Violet's World Championship. The following is a Hoopla Rules match and is for Hoopla's Violet World Championship. Ever since her loss at the Battle of 1985, Haley Jones has been one of the most vicious wrestlers here in this company. Beating the absolute hell out of everybody, trying to make an example that she is the dominant female here in this division. But tonight she finally gets what she wants, a rematch against the woman that beat her at the Battle of 1985. And we will see if history repeats itself here, or if Haley Jones finally gets her revenge. Challenger fighting out of Jacksonville, Florida. She is the one and only Haley Jones. Next 
next up, the champion. Fighting out of Hackensack, New Jersey, she is the Violet's world champion, the living dead girl, Tiffany Lee Ray. The crowd split between both of these women. Haley Jones versus Tiffany Lee Ray in a Hoopla Rules match for the Violets World Championship. Tiffany Lee Ray going straight after Haley's eyes. Oh, but she answers with a fucking neck breaker there. Both women after the first match know each other very, very well. Haley Jones slowly getting the upper hand. Has her in an arm bar here. Oh, Tiffany getting out of it. Punching her in the face. Haley reversing her. Oh, into a clothesline. A lot is showing off from Haley Jones. That's what cost her the title to begin with. Tonight the tables have turned as Haley Jones is now the one looking for the title. She's dragging the champion. Champion fighting back here. What a shot from Tiffany. Oh, but Haley pushing her back. This is the forearm. Champion teeing off on her. to do something. But Haley fighting back here. Answers with shots of her own. Once again dragging her to God knows where. Back and forth from these two on the outside. One of these women are going to get the upper hand. Haley throwing her across the fucking floor. This is the kick. Ah, oh, Tiffany scratching at her back. Oh my god, and a snapmare. Haley reversing her. Throwing her at the announce table. He is not done. Throwing her back in the ring. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, and a jumping knee from Haley Jones. The match slowly going in the favor of Haley. As she goes for the cover, looking for the first fall. Only a one count, though. You have to do a lot more punishment here. What she does, going after Tiffany's arm. Oh my god. Stopping any use of that arm. Oh my god, a pay dirt from Haley. Oh, but Tiffany kicks her back. Looking to do something here. Looking for a weapon. Our first weapon in play. She has a chair. Oh man. Oh, hits her over the head with the chair. Looking for the win. At least for the first fall. Only a one count. That chair shot did nothing to the one and only. Tiffany. Once again. Oh, she's getting pissed. She cannot believe that chair shot did not give her the win there. Haley dragging her. Tiffany reversing out of it. Whatever the fuck she was going to go for. Both women missing their shots. 
Haley is finally connecting. And so is Tiffany. Back and forth from these two on the outside. Oh, another gut kick from Tiffany. Another forearm from Haley. This has just become a fucking brawl between the two. And Haley jumps. Oh my god. Picking her up. Looking for something. Oh. Oh. Oh, plants her face on the apron. This is the incendiary there. But I believe the damage has been done. She's not done though. Oh, what an STL from Haley Jones. Oh, what a super kick. That is effective though. Throws her back in the ring. It is in the favor of Haley Jones. As she goes for that fisherman buster. Fisherman driver, excuse me. Oh, but it doesn't drop. Tiffany Lee Ray. Oh, what a super kick from Haley. Throwing her at the ropes. Oh, but Tiffany stops herself. Oh my god, what a kick from Haley. Drops Tiffany Lee Ray. She's not done. Climbing to the top rope. She is fucking tired. Oh my god, misses the Phoenix Splash. And Haley Jones has just given the first fall to Tiffany Lee Ray here. Oh my god. It is all the living dead girl now. Kitchen sink from Tiffany. Another clothesline. Oh, and a third one. Into the corner. Oh, just kicks her head off. The same move that won her the title. Oh, but it doesn't down Haley this time. Haley Jones. Oh, what a last shot from Haley. Into the cover for the first fall. Two. Oh, so close. The woman of a thousand finishers almost got the first fall there. On for her to get up. Another clothesline. Oh. Oh, what a drop kick from Haley. I'm gonna continue her assault. And Tiffany sweeps her. Oh my god. She's got her an iron claw. Oh, but Haley getting out of it. Haley Jones fighting back. Oh, to a spear from Haley. Into the cover. Looking for that first fall. Two. Oh, so close. Haley Jones cannot stop the assault. Continues to go after her. Going for her arm again. Trying to stop ball use for the Iron Claw. Picking her back up. Oh. Oh, another pay dirt from Haley Jones. Oh, she's looking to end it here. Getting her first fall. Oh, misses the knee. But she throws her out of the ring. It has all been Haley Jones so far now. Oh, but Tiffany reversing there. Oh, and whips her head on the floor. Gets her in the face. Oh. Oh, reverses her. Oh, my God. Tiffany Lee Ray. Slowly making a comeback. Oh, and I spoke too soon. Another STO from Haley Jones. Throws her back in the ring. 
Both women are fucking hurt here. But Haley Jones, the woman standing. Not for long though, Tiffany. Picking her back up. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, the dominator from Tiffany. Into the cover. One, two, and Tiffany Lee Ray gets the first fall in this contest. Haley Jones is now in the position that Tiffany was at the battle. She has to get two pins in a row to win this contest. She might get a first fall here. Two. Oh, so close. Haley Jones is in dire need to make a tiebreaker. Oh, she's gonna stop her here. Iron Claw locked in. Looking to end it here. Oh, but Haley Jones fighting out of it. Oh, oh, what a hurricane Rana. It is not the time to be showing off for Haley, but she's doing it anyway. Tiffany Lee Ray making her pay for it. Oh. Oh, but Haley reversing her. Back and forth from these two. Haley Jones looking to get her first fall. Two. Oh. Haley Jones continuing her assault. Trying to figure out what the fuck to do to put her down. Turn the corner. Oh, she's got something planned here. Oh, but Tiffany reversing her. Reverses her now. Oh, a shoulder tackle. Shoulder tackle. Fucking spear in the corner. Oh, drop kicks her head. Haley Jones desperately needs this first fall. Oh, the fisherman driver. Into the cover. One, two, and once again, Tiffany kicks out. Haley Jones is getting pissed off. She's looking to get it here. With that running knee connects. First fall for Haley. One, two. Tiffany Lee Ray is not staying down. And the frustration is what cost her the title to begin with. And it might have cost her here. Picking her back up into the Dominator. One, two. Oh, and Haley Jones is still in it. But she is making the same mistakes that made her lose the title to begin with. And it's gonna cost her again, probably. If she doesn't get this first fall. Reverses Tiffany. Reverses her again. Tiffany throwing her at the ropes. Oh! Oh, it drops her. Trying to figure out what the fuck to do. Oh, she might have something now. Throwing her at the ropes again. Oh, she catches her in the iron claw. Square in the middle of the ring. Does she have her here? And she does. Haley Jones has once again lost to the living dead girl. Here is her winner, and still the pilot world champion, Tiffany Lee Ray. Haley Jones made the same mistakes that made her lose the title to begin with, and Tiffany Lee Ray took advantage. Congratulations to our current world champion for that phenomenal defense. Oh, but Beverly Hunter, oh my god, attacking Tiffany Lee Ray. She is one of the women that Tiffany 
pinned at the Battle of 1985. Oh my God! Beverly Hunter making a statement here. She wants a shot at that belt. Well, I mean, on with the show then. Our main event of the night, Dracona Tour goes one-on-one -on -one with our champion, John Ryan Xavier. That matchup is up next, ladies and gentlemen. What? Our main event of the evening is for Hoopla's World Championship. Last month, the Clone Master managed to make the perfect clone that got him the title of the 2019 winner of the Laborian Sprint. And tonight, he reaps the benefits as he goes one on one with our current champion. The champion that's been undefeated ever since we started this company. And tonight, he might be able to be the first person that dethrones the champion. What the fuck? He throws out the small clone here. I don't know how wise of a decision that is. But knowing Draconator, he has something planned. What is what? Oh motherfucker. Draconator. God damn it. We know which one this is. Dakota Tor sending out all of his fucking clones for this match. He is looking to guarantee himself the win here. And here comes the man of the hour. The clone master himself. He has just stacked the cards against the world champion here. Joseph first, accompanied by his clones. From Nativia Mission, he is the Clone Master, Draconator. is our version of the attack of the clones. John Ryan Xavier is going into this in a one on three situation with Draconator and his fucking spawn. But our current world champion has this uncanny ability to adapt to every situation he's been in. So tonight you could bet that he's going into this knowing there's three people to worry about. But all he's focused on is Draconator. And we will see if that plays into this matchup here tonight. Here 
we go, our main event of the night. The Draco Nation versus John Ryan Xavier for Hoopla's Wait, 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 wait. Okay. I have just been told that since the clones are at ringside, this contest is now a four-way survival. Oh my fucking god. Draconator's chances have just dwindled by a fucking lot. The one weakness these clones have is that they're all greedy as fuck, just like their clone master. Well, this match is now a four-way survival match where the winner will be known as the world champion. The clone master getting beat the hell out of by his giant. As John Ryan Xavier goes after the Dracona Smurf. Oh, he eats that kick. Oh, the Dracona Smurf fucking clotheslines him out. Well, the giant's just beating the hell out of the master. Oh, but the giant turns the attention to the champion. Oh my god, the midget and John Ryan are just teeing off on the giant. Oh, he has the champion up. He's got something planned here. Oh, but he waited too long. John Ryan getting out of it. Oh, drop kicks him still standing though. Oh, just fucking tackles him. Oh, DDT from Draconator. Drops the midget. Another one on the outside. John Ryan just teeing off on the on the giant. Finally drops him there. Just beating the hell. Oh my god, just slaps the champion here. Finally drops the giant. Well, the Smurf is just beating the hell out of the master now. Champion. Throwing the giant back in the ring. While the Smurf gets beat up by the master. The giant just ate that chop. Oh, but he misses. Oh, John Ryan. Oh. Oh, the knee connects. But he's not done here. There he goes, headbutt. Connects there. Looking to eliminate the first clone. Oh, so close. Well, Dracona Smurf beating the hell out of the master now. That's fucking surprising. Oh, an elbow to from John Ryan. Gets up like nothing though. Splash from the giant. Not done. Oh my god, just stomping him out. The giant looking to take him out. Double arm choke slam connects. We might be guaranteed a new champion here. One, two, oh, so close. Oh my God, the giant spitting on his hand. Oh, close lines up, another one. Oh shit. Oh, he has him up. Oh, but the champion reverses. Oh, again, flipping him over. Oh, the knee connects. Not done with him here. We're gonna continue to punish the giant as the Smurf goes after the Clone Master. Another headbutt, and the final headbutt connects. John Ryan turns his attention to the midget. Oh, but he, the midget's fighting back. Oh. Oh, misses the crossbody. 
Oh my god! Oh, and the smurf! Into the cover! Oh, so close! Now they're all beating the hell out of the champion! Oh my god, he has the giant up! Oh, but the smurf stops him! Oh, what a stun gun from John Ryan! The Clone Master showing the clone who's boss. Oh, what a hip attack. Into a spear in the middle of the ring. And John Ryan turns his attention. Back to the giant, okay. One, two. Oh, almost took out the giant. Up at the Smurf. Oh, what a poison Rana. Takes out the champion there. Continuing his, uh, his assault on the champion. Oh. Oh, flips him over. Turns his attention to the giant. Oh, reverses the giant. Oh! Oh, what a tomahawk cutter from the midget. Into the cover. One. Two. And the giant has just been eliminated by the smurf. Oh, and the clone master. Oh, belly to back. Oh, crushes the Smurf. Into the cover. Two. And just like that, the clones have been eliminated. Oh, Mr. The Chuff. Oh, John Ryan Xavier with the headbutt. Looking to end it here. Oh, so close. Oh, looking for another one. So focused on Draconator. Looking to end it now. Two. And still Hoopla's world champion, John Ryan Xavier. And still Hoopla's world champion. John Ryan, a savior, the third. He threw all of his clones at him and still could not pick up the win. John Ryan Xavier is still our reigning champion. That is all the time we have. We will see you in November in the Rising Sun.